Hello. Hello, welcome back. Glad to see you again. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Hello, sir. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How Good are evening. You? Glad to see you again. Thank you, teacher. Me too. Okay. Just waiting. Welcome.
Welcome to all of you. I hope that uh, you have the material with you. We are going to wait a little bit. Just a little bit. Sure, I connected, but I am driving. Okay, I have 11. I don't know what is what is happening here, but a few minutes ago here, the power went off. I'm still waiting. Remember that we are close to finish this week. In the next one, we are going to finish the module. For the reason you need to be ready with all the activities. Sure. Hello, I connected, sir. I connected by I'm driving. Sorry. You are connected, but you don't have light. I am driving. Ah, you are driving. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, sorry. okay, okay. Be careful, be careful. Yes, teacher, yes. Okay, drive safely. Uh, stare on, on, on the street. Okay, teacher, thanks. Don't worry about it. Just keep connected and listen. Okay, I got 12. Okay, I'm going to check up the, the attendance now because we have a lot of things to do now. Let me see here. Here we go. Yes, I got it.
I got it here. Okay, Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina. There's a there. There, okay. Ana del Carmen. Not here. Angel Narciso. Present. Okay, uh, Cristina Stephanie. Christina Stephanie. Fatima del Carmen. Giovanni Alexander. Giovanni. Present teacher. Giovanni, you say present, right? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Yeah, appear. Yes. Uh, apparently, no, I have, I'm having problem with my internet service. As I told you at the beginning, like uh, 15 minutes ago, the power went off. And for that reason, I'm having some problem with my connection, but I'm here. Okay, let me continue. Okay, Giovanni, okay, Harrison is there, he's driving. Present teacher. Juan, Juan Carlos, okay, Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, are you there, Juan Carlos? Karen Yesenia. Present. Karina. Karina. Eh, Linda. Linda Ives. Maria Julia. Present. Marlene. Present. Nancy. Nancy. Norma Carolina. Present, teacher. Yes, Rafael Ernesto. Present, teacher. Eh, Raquel Judith. Present teacher. Suleima Veronica. Present teacher. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, here we go. The one that can uh, turn on your cameras, go ahead. If you have problem, don't worry now, okay? Okay, let's start now, please. We are going to start with the topic of today. And um, another thing that I, I want to tell you is that I'm going to make some changes in the name of the video conference of yesterday. 
there is a kind of mistake there. In the, just in the name, okay. Okay, let us start talking about this question. What are some qualities a good employee need to have? What can you tell me? You can make a list. And the second, what is the most essential quality to get a promotion? Just tell me, what do you think about these two questions? You want to have problem with the audio? Really? Okay, I'm going to read again the two questions. What are some qualities a good employee need to have? You can make a list and the last or the second, what is the most essential quality to get a promotion? Okay, based on that, I need to see your faces. And you can tell me what do you think about it. You can make a list, but just tell me, please. You don't need to write down everything. You just can comment about qualities a good employee you need to have. I'm all ears for you. Tell me. Let us talk about qualities. If you tell me one quality. Responsible. Going, okay, thank you, responsible. I'm going to have like 11 qualities. Proactive. Like, excuse me? Proactive. Ah, proactive, okay, thank you, Maria. What else? Honest. Honorary. Be honest, be honest, be honest. Uh, that is important. Okay, somebody else? Honorary. Excuse me, Karen? Honorary. Honorary. Mm -hmm. Honest. Yeah, honest, honest. Okay. 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 What else? Team at work. Teamwork, excellent, Zulema. That is really, really important. And that way, uh, we are going to reach our goals if we work in team. What else? Que mas, que mas? Okay, and wh what about the second question? But what is the most essential quality to get a promotion? What do you consider that is the most essential to get a promotion? Tell me. Responsibility. Responsibility? Yes. Okay, what else? Remember that uh, all of you had the chance to, to tell me what do you think? A Christian could be another. Excuse me? A Christian. Uh, efficiency. Yeah. Okay. What else? To get a promotion, imagine that you are the boss. And in fact, some of you are maybe bosses in your companies. You, what you need to, to do is just to share with me 
uh, what are those characteristics that you see in an employee in order to give him or her a promotion? Creative. Creative. Okay, what else? Be leader. Excuse me? Leader. Be leader. Ah, leader. Uh -huh. okay. Excellent. Okay, thank you very much for your opinion and answer. Let us continue working. Okay, we have a conversation here. So please pay attention. I'm going to read it in two or three different ways. First of all, I'm going to read it in a slowly way in order that you can understand it. And then I'm going to read it in a, in a fast way. And then in a national way, how we do it when we are speaking with somebody else, okay? I'm going to read it. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rigid. Good morning, Mr. Rigid. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some references. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warning and the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what? it is required at a man managerial position, managerial position. Okay, I'm going to read it uh, again. Good morning, this is uh, Mr. Pedro Rigid. Good morning, Mr. Rigid. This is Max from A. HR, how can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some references. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is a responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required at a managerial position? And now I'm going to read it uh, in a natural way when you are speaking, maybe in a, in a fast way. Good morning. This is Pedro Juliet. Good morning, Mr. Vigil. This is Mac from HR. HR, how can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some references. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warning. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he have what is it is required as a managerial position? Managerial position. Okay. Now question, if you have question, just let me know and I'm going to help you. 
But first of all, I'm going to give you like two minutes in order that you read it. And then you can identify some difficult expression of word. And then I'm going to help you to solve that problem. Okay. Read it, please. Teacher, puede repetir la última, el último párrafo. I see. Do you consider? Managerial position. Managerial position. Okay. Question. Peter. Hello. Si puedes repetir el último párrafo. Pedro, oh, let me see. Pedro. Yes, I see two. I yeah. see. Do you consider he have what it is required as a managerial position? Again, I see. Do you consider he has what it is required at a managerial position? Managerial position. Managerial position. Manager. Manager. Managerial. Managerial. Managerial position. 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 Position, position. Okay, what else do you need? ¿Qué más necesita? ¿En qué les ayude? Hello. Okay, I need two volunteers who want to read it. Before we can go to the breakout room, uh, I need two volunteers who wants to read it in order to be sure that you are pronouncing in the right way, okay? Who wants to do it? Me. Okay, I need uh, one more, please. Me, teacher. Okay, Raquel. Okay. Uh, good morning. This is Miss Nicole Rivera. Good morning, Miss Nicole, Nicole Rivera. This is Ma. This is Raquel from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Raquel. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking um, some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warning and the Feedback we have about him from his supervisor. 
is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what is there required at manage managerial position? Okay, thank you. Remember that it's a, it's a question. What is, what it is required at the managerial position? Do you consider he has what is required at the managerial position? Okay, somebody else? Before we go to the breakout room, I need to be sure that all of you are doing a good job. Two more, please. Okay. With this is Creo que Don Angel está Mr. Cardona, are you going to help me? I'm ready. Okay. Do it. Okay. You start. You start. Angel. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Reed. This is Christina from Puma Resort. Um, how can I help you? Hi, Mark. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Oh, what kind of information do you need? We are checking on some preference. We are planning to promote he has a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any worry. And the feed, feedback we had about him from his supervisor in that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required managerial position? Thank you. Okay. Let us see some word, for example, this one. What kind of, what kind of, what kind of, what kind of information do you need? What kind of information do you need? Okay. Somebody has a question? Anybody? Alguien tiene alguna pregunta relacionada a alga, alguna palabra o frase? Hello. No, Okay, let us practice in the breakout room. Let me see again, I'm going to recreate it because I'm having some problem. 
Okay, what about, um, let me see. Today I'm going to do it in a different way. I'm going to create uh, the rooms and you are going to choose the number in which you want to be. Voy a crear los, uh, los room y usted elija donde quiere estar. De acuerdo. Okay. 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 Hello, Selena. Hello. Hello. Hola, Selena. <laughs> Comenzamos. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. I don't I, I don't know if you can see all the rooms. Not yet. Yes. Okay, teacher. But you need to join in, in, in the room that you want. Necesitan eh, darle join in the room que ustedes quieran. Solo Marlen ya se agregó Raquel. Okay, elijan el que le guste. I'm giving you the chance to do it. Entiendo. Oops, in the room six, we have three. <laughs> okay, no problem. What about the rest? Tenemos muchos disponibles. Está el uno, el tres, number five. Hi, Rafael. Hi, Mr. Karen. Mrs. Karen. Go into okay. the room, the, the, the room that you want, okay? Okay. But try to do it. I need that you learn how to do it. But in a hurry, please. Tratemos de hacerlo lo más rápido posible, por favor. We have room two, three, uh, we don't have an, anybody there. Hurry up, please. Just tell me if you don't know how to do it. Fatima, but you need to click join in order that you can go. Okay, that is right. What about you, Angel? Angel, Angel. Not yet, teacher. Choose one, please. And click on it. Linda, what about you? Christina. Click on it. Click on it. Me uno a cualquier grupo, teacher. Yes. Re remember that we need to have only just two. Necesitamos que hayan dos por... por eh, que hay uno, que hay tres. Por sala, sí. Ahí no hay problema porque al final oh, okay. no, no estamos pares, pero deberían de haber solo dos. A ellos dejémoslos ahí, no problem. Tenemos el dos disponible, two, three, and the three, we have Farima is waiting somebody else, room five. Ah, Maria Julia is in the room two. I need that you learn how to do it, this. Room five. Five. Click on it. Click on room five, please. 
otra vez. <ríe> Está un poco mal el internet. Pero... You need to click on room 5, join. Uh. Ah, ok, Linda is there. Uh, on, on room 3, uh, Farima is waiting, somebody. Maria Julia is waiting. A los que ya tienen uno, por favor, compañeros, eh, deben de entrar para que puedan hacer la conversación. Pero no me parece. ¿Really? Es que me, se me desconectó y me volví a conectar. Ah. Ok, as you can see, uh, it is really difficult. And we spend a lot of time doing it in this way. For that reason, uh, most of the time we, we, we do it automatically. Okay, I'm sorry, but I had to do it automatically. Okay. Bien, intentamos hacerlo así, pero se dan cuenta que el tiempo nos absorbe porque hay algunos que no eligen en cuál estar y hay otros que están solos. Entonces, por eso es que generalmente lo hacemos eh, automático, que sea la máquina que lo asigne. Todavía tengo a Ana Cristina, Gerson y Giovanni que no han elegido y tengo a Fátima Sola. No hay la indicación, me había levantado. Ah, ok. Eh, elija un, un, un room, especialmente donde haya solo una persona para que pueda laborar con ella. Pero donde veo... Person, maybe he's driving. No problem. Ana Cristina? No veo donde me tengo que agregar. Really? Let me send you to room three. I'm going to. I'm going to send you to room three, okay? Okay. Click on it. Click on it, please. Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina. Okay, as you can see, it's really difficult to do it this way. Maybe because um, you don't see the, the where you are going to click on, or I don't know why, but for the reason sometimes, uh, most of the time we do it automatically. But in that way, you are going to learn how to do it, okay? Who wants to perform the, the conversation? 
volunteers, please. Okay, Maria. Maria. Ready, Julie. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Reyes. Good morning, Mr. Reyes. This is Max from HA. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mario Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warning. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he, he has what it is requested at a managerial position? Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Next pair, please. As soon as uh, they finish, you can start, okay? Norma, we do it. Okay. Um, good morning. This is Mr. Marlene Rivera. Good morning, Ms. Rivera. This is Norma from HR, how can I help you? Hi, Norma. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, what kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference and we are planning to pro promote him as a manager. Uh, Miss Sanchez doesn't not have any warnings in the feedback we have about him from his supervisor. Is that he is responsible? I see. Do you consider he has what is what is a required and managerial position? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Next, please, next, please. Karencita. Kari. Hi. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rigid. Good morning, Mr. Rigi. This is Max from Human Research. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warning. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor, he does, he is as responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required at a manager position? Yes, I consider. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. okay, thank you, somebody else. Somebody else, please. Annie. Hello. Inicio. Bye. Bye. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rijet. Good morning, Mr. Rijet. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning 
to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warning. And in the feedback, we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required at man managerial position? Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Require. 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 Write down, write down, jot down the pronunciation. Okay, somebody else? Suleyma Ridi. Ridi, Juan Carlos. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rillet. Good morning, Mr. Rillet. This is Matt from ISR. How can I help you? Hey, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote he has a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have a um, warning and the feedback we have about Jim from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required a managerial position? Okay, thank you, Juan Carlos. Okay, thank you to you too. Okay. I'm going to read the last time in order that you can uh, get uh, more information about it. So, okay, good morning. This is uh, Mr. Pedro Rigid. Good morning, Mr. Rigid. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Listen, this is a question. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some references. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warning. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required as a managerial position? Okay, le dejo ahí eh, la última lectura para que puedan corregir algunas palabras. Let me Thank see. you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. And uh, remember, if you have any doubt about how to pronounce a word, just let me know and I'm going to help you. Okay, uh, at this moment I need that you, okay, let me see. Let, let me do it this way. I sent you a link about a video, right? Who watch it? Yeah. Les envié un link por ahí antes de la clase, no sé quién lo vio. If not, you can watch it now, okay? is uh, more than two minutes. And later on, we are going to talk about it. The link of the video is in the in your material. Is there the second one?
Okay, let us talk about it. What can you tell me about the video? Okay, I'm going to check up the, the attendance first and then you can share your ideas. Después de que pase lista, me pueden uh, dar sus ideas. El link de ese video está en, justo en su material. Let me see. Yeah, Ana Cristina. Ana del, Car Ana del Carmen. Present. Ángel. Present, teacher. Cristina Stephanie. It's not here. Fátima del Carmen. Fátima. It's not here. Giovanni Alexander. Present teacher. Person Manuel. Juan Carlos Palacios. Present teacher. Karen Yesenia. Present teacher. Karina. Present. Linda Ivette. Present teacher. Eh, María Julia. Present. Marlene. Present. Nancy Ivet. Nancy. Norma. Present teacher. Rafael. Present teacher. Uh, Raquel. Present teacher. Suleyma. Present teacher. Okay. Only three, Fatima and Christine. Let me see, Christina, are you there, Christina? Christina, Stephanie? Yes. Okay, and Fatima? Fatima del Carmen? No. And Nancy, Yvette. Nancy, Nancy. Are you there, Nancy? No, okay. Okay, what can you tell me about the video? Let me see your ideas. What do you got? Main ideas, main ideas, main ideas. It's about the, the life balance. It is about the life. What, what, what did you see at the beginning? Tell me, at the beginning of the video. And then uh, it is compared with... It's talk about the, the car in Audi. Ah, uh -huh. okay. And what happened with the car? It is a perfect machine, right?
Hello, hello, main ideas, main ideas about the video. Maybe if I, if, if I show you some picture, you can tell me something. Some picture related with uh, with the video. It talks about work life balance, right? Yes. Okay. And there we have a two picture. One car and one man. And what can you tell me about this? Let us talk about walls. Car, the car has only one specific wall. And what about the man? We have a lot of duty to do, right? Breath, variety, one scene, total focus, perfections. What is that? What is that? What can you tell me about it? Tell me. Hello. Breath variety, total focus perfections. What is that? Una variedad amplia. Again, total perfections, total focus perfections. As I told you at the beginning, the car has the one walls. What is that? What is the objective principal of the car? It's very fast. Ah, yeah. it is a highly efficient and attractive car because its engine produces an amazing speed. That is uh, one of the reasons why it is so efficient. Mm -hmm. And uh, part of what makes us human uh, comparatively inefficient. Listen to this. That is the reason why the car is efficient and we as human, we are inefficient. But why? It is because the car has only one wall and that wall is exceptionally clear. What is that? To go very fast on asphalt roads. As a general principle, uh, no machine can be 
optimally efficient in more than one thing. And also you saw a robot that has up to climb stairs and made a tan case will be much less efficient than two different machines, each of which can focus on a single task. The more limited the walls, the greater the chance to achieve efficiency. For that reason, we can say that uh, it is difficult to get it. And another thing that we need to take into account is that the price we pay for being generalists is that we will be worse at any of the many activities we do than someone who did only one thing for his entire life. That means that we may not be the best volume inflator of the house, maybe a little bit, you know. We will be able to arrive somewhat late to a meeting. We will not be perfect, passionate, and interesting. We will be running the presentation again, and someone will probably be better than us in helping our children to paint and do something. For the reason we need to. We need to be really careful about it. In other words, I'm going to show you the last picture in order that we can continue. Uh, in other words, what we can say that, for example, somebody can train it, sleep, and repeat and do something like that, you know, in order to be equal to the curve, but it's difficult to do it. For that reason, we have a perfectly optimal career plus perfectly optimal home life. Could be equal to work-life balance. But that is not possible. It's really, really difficult. Everything worth fighting and balance is poor. You can watch it later. Uh, because we need to talk more about the topic, okay? But it's just a reflection. And I hope that you can uh, understand it. And we have some question about the discussion that we have in the conversation. I'm going to just read it and you can answer it later on because we need to go forward. Let me see, I have it here. I know that sometimes uh, it is really difficult to understand it, but uh, it is part of your training that you need to develop uh, listening comprehension in order to understand what somebody else is saying. Okay. Um, let me see here. I need to show you something else. Because we have some question. As soon as uh, after the conversation. Okay, the first question said, uh, what do you think are some of Mr. Sanchez's qualities? The second, what is the new role Mr. Sanchez will have at the company? And the third one, what do you think it is Mr. Sanchez's current role?
you can read the conversation again and, and then you can answer. What do you think uh, are some of Mr. Sanchez's qualities? Just mention a few. He is responsible. And what else? What, what about the second? What, what is the new role Mr. Sancho will have at the company? Mr. Sanchez is will be manager. Okay. And let me see what else. And the third one, what do you think is Mr. Sanchez's current role? What do you think is Mr. Sanchez's current role? I think what uh, Mr. Sanchez is excellent employee with um, many qualities. Yes, but talking about the role that he is doing, what do you think? ¿Qué rol estará desempeñando él eh, en el momento que lo están buscando promover? Mr. Sanchez Coffin Hall, supervisor, please. Is he going to be promoted? Okay, you need to read the conversation in order to get the info. Because he's going to be a, a manager. The manage, manager. Yeah, but maybe right now uh, he is a supervisor, as you said, okay? Okay, okay, let us continue then. Okay, let us talk about this. Uh, how to use the present progressive form for ongoing action. Use the present progressive to talk about ongoing situation. And the structure is subject plus bear. Uh, in this case, we have the bear B plus bear ing plus complement. And we have uh, some example. We are updating the information this week. The staff is planning to give him a promotion. A negative statement at the particle not after the verb be. Remember that if you are going to use a uh, present progressive, you need to have a, a B form after the subject. Siempre que vamos a usar progresivo, vamos a tener después del sujeto la forma del be y luego el verbo with ing. Any question about the structure? Mm 
no? ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Alguna pregunta sobre la estructura? Y que el ING sería como cuando en español decimos, and, o sea, las terminaciones de ando, comiendo, bailando, ando, endo. No. Yes. Ah, ok. Thank you. Uh, let me see. For example, here we are updating the information. This way. The staff is planning to give him a promotion. Pero es para algo que vamos a hacer. Futuro, estamos haciendo. Ongoing options. For ongoing options. The staff is planning to give him a promotion. We are updating the information. Most of the time we use it at the moment that we are doing something, right? For example, you say, um, I am studying. And so on that. In order to do this, we need to remember some rules. Uh, how we are going to do it in order to add agenji to the pairs. I, I guess that you already started this chart, but uh, let us make a review. Somebody wants to read the first row. Okay, let us say that the bear ending with- Dropping. Excuse me? The drop is dropping. Yes, but the most important thing that we need to have in mind is the one we we'll have at the left side. Bear ending with one E, E sound, it is silent. For example, like this have, leave, take, move. We are going to drop the letter E and add a change E. Believing, having, living, taking, moving, you know. And short one syllable bird ending with consonant, vowel, consonant. This is the meaning of this. Consonant, vowel, consonant. It is like this consonant, vowel, consonant, like it, get, plan, ran, stop. We are going to double the final consonant and add. IGNG, for example, sitting, getting, planning, running, stopping. Is that clear? Yes or no? Yes. Hello. Remember, this is a review. This is a review because I consider that. Uh, you already started. And the next one, when we have two or more syllable verb with consonant, vowel, consonant, like begin, ojo con esto, consonante, vocal, consonante, ellos tienen esa terminación. Aquí la tenemos. Consonante, vocal, consonante, pero son de dos sílabas. En cambio, el de arriba es de una sílaba. In this case, we are talking about the two syllable, okay? Begin, forget, regret, admit, upset. Double the final consonant if the last syllable is a stress. Listen this. Beginning, forgetting, regretting, admitting, upsetting. You know, you need to be careful about this. And the last one bears ending in IE, like die, lie, tie. You need to change uh, IE to Y and add ING. For example, dying, lying, time. 
try to keep in mind. It is just a review. If you want, you can make a, a screenshot in order that you can have it with you. Is done? Yes? Okay. Thank you. Yes. Excuse me? Yes. It is like a general information. Creo que ya hicieron el screenshot. Cierto. Okay, now is your turn. You are going to work in exercise number five of your book. On page number, number, let me see, 36. And there, what you are going to do is to follow it. Let me show you what you are going to do. Okay, you are going to write down sentences using the present progressive form of the verb in parentheses. You have plan, call, check, write, and send. Speak. You have it in your, in your material. You can work in your notebook and later on we are going to share what you have done, okay? Any question so far from here? Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No, buena. no teacher. Okay. Okay. Try to do it now. Write down, write down. Remember the B form after the subject, please. And show me that you can do it. And remember cameras on if you don't have any problem with your devices. It is part of the agreement that we have at the beginning of the module. It is mandatory to have your cameras on, please. Okay, I hope that all of you work on the, on the activity, please.
in order to do it, remember the structure that I have explained you. Recordemos la estructura que ya les expliqué, que ahí está en su material. Take a look of it and start it, please. Remember that you have a six different there and that uh, you need to apply the rules in order to add ING. And if you are going to write down one in negative statement, you need to add the particle NOT after the verb B. Okay. Remember that I'm here. If you need to ask something, if you don't have a clear idea, just let me know. I'm going to help you.
Okay, if you finish, just let me know. Okay, let us see uh, if you have uh, some sentences. If you if you want to share it. Because the next step that we need to do is that you are going to create a paragraph. Who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? I try. Okay. Go ahead. I don't know. I don't know. It's correct, but okay. Um. Um, the first, uh, my family is planning to travel the next vacation. The boss is calling for the information, the meeting. I am checking the reports monthly. The students are re reading the homework of English. We are sending the email to our boss and everybody is speaking English after that of module six. Okay, number four, could you read again number four, please? Or if the students are reading, reading the homework. Students are, a student are writing, 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 the writing, homework. writing homework. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else, please just to be sure that you are doing and following the rules. Somebody else? ¿Alguien más que ya finalizó y desee leer sus oraciones? Me too. Okay, let me see Linda first and then Maria Julia, I guess. Okay. First, Jose is planning his next vacation. Uh, they are calling the police. Rose is checking the email. He is writing, writing a letter to his mom. The store is Sending many, the store is sending many package on Christmas season. Okay. And Sarah is speaking loud in front of the crowd. Excellent. I'm, I'm waiting my, my package too from the company. <laughs> 
Ya. Oke. Oke, oke. Continue Maria Julia. My family is planning a party this weekend. I am calling to my boss in this moment. My coworker is checking his mail. I am writing a letter for my co my clients. I am sending a sample for a courier. My boss is speaking with the manager right now. Okay, excellent. Okay, the ones that already finished can go to the next step. That is, you can read it in the same page, in the exercise number six, that you are going to write down a, a civil like paragraph about the activities you are doing these days. Use present progressive, please. Remember, it is a paragraph. You need to use connectors in order that the sound and looks good. And with the rest, we continue, uh, we can continue reading the sentences. Anna, adelante. Go ahead, Anna, then do it. I am planning a party. He is calling his mother. He is checking his email. She is writing a letter to her friends. Um, I am sending an email to my boss. I am speaking English now. Could you read the number five? I guess it's number five. Let me see. Yeah. Hi. Number five, could you read again, please? I am sending an email to my boss. To my, to my boss. To two. my boss. To my two. boss. To, T-O, to my boss. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Go to the next step. Try to create your own paragraph, seven line, please. Start doing now. And at the end, you are going to share it with the class. Somebody else, somebody else. And talking about the by the way, I need to be sure who is going to be with me at the end of the class. Let me see who is it. Let me see who is it. Me, teacher. Giovanni Alexander yes. Pineda Romero. Are you there, Giovanni? Yes, teacher. Okay. I hope that you can uh, have some question and doubt, and I hope to clarify it. Okay. I'm sorry. Somebody say me. I don't know who is it. A lady, I guess. Who wants to read it? Okay. Uh uh, six sentences. Okay. Uh, I am planning my okay. I am planning the budget. Uh, he is calling. Uh, he is calling his mother. She is checking the email. You are writing the poem. Uh, Is it? Okay, thank you, Giovanni Alexander.
remember, Giovanni, you are going to have the 10 minutes at the end of the class, and I hope to see you there. This, this day? Yes, today. And for tomorrow, it is, let me see, Marlene Nicole Rivera. Para mañana. Okay. So before tomorrow, you can have your question. Okay, uh, remember, right now you are writing a paragraph of seven lines. Try to do it, please, because we are so close to finish. And you need to read it in order to, to, to show me that you understood the topic. Giovanni no se le olvide eh, al final de la clase de ir buscando sus apuntes y sus dudas. Porque han pasado dos sesiones que me ha tocado estar solo que Eh, a las personas que les ha correspondido por X o Y motivos no han estado entonces remember, recuerde que eh, siempre Insafor audita los vídeos y ellos también ven la lista de las personas que les ha correspondido en el, en el día que ellos revisan and that is important. Okay, I'm going to give you two more minutes in order that you can finish your paragraph. And after that, uh, volunteers are going to read. One minute left.
Okay, time is over. Time is over. Who wants to read it? Mi teacher, pero ahí me ayuda en alguna pronunciación. Ok, tranquila. Haga lo que. No sé si le he hecho bien, pero la primera dice: We are playing to promen he as a manager. Okay. I am Kylie, Kylie to my month. I checking my email every day. He writing layer for yours. Horas, no, no me acuerdo cómo. Hours, 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 sorry. I sending flowers to the hospital to my sister. Hospital. Uh, hospital, sorry, yes. hospital to my sister. I speaking English in my idioma class. I am speaking English in my language class, okay. Uh, language class. Thank and, you, and, Yeah, and the verb is I am calling. Calling. Uh, calling. Yeah. Calling. calling. I calling to I my... I am, remember, I am calling. Okay, I am calling to my mom. Uh, yes. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Good job. Okay, somebody else, please. The paragraph. Who wants to read the paragraph? Come on, come on, come on. We don't have enough, a lot of time to do this activity. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Marlene. <laughs> okay, um, in my activities, I'm working at uh, 10 a.m. Then I tip in reports about the sales monthly. I check in my email for some information important. When it's 1 p.m., I'm eating my lunch. And after that, I work in again. And I drive in and ho at home after the working for eight hours. Yeah, I hear it well, like typing, I guess, typing a report. Typing, I guess. Typing. Typing, yes, typing. Okay. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to do it? Hello, 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 come on, you can do it. I know that you are able to do it. Just share it. One more, please, one more, please. Time is running, time is running. Remember, we are close to finish. One more, please, before to go. Let me chip. Do it, sir. Okay. We are planning the end of the year. Activities in my company. For the weekend, we have a trip to the Tesoro Beach Hotel. Uh, to do a schedule uh, also on Friday, December 70. 
we are working on a group activity in present bit before a stage. Only one, only that. Okay, thank you. Because of the time, I need to check up the system again. Let me see. I'm going to see the attendance. Because of the time. Okay, Ana Cristina. Ana del Carmen. Present. Ángel. Present. Cristina Stephanie. Fátima del Carmen. Present. Fátima. Present. Okay, Gerson uh, Manuel. Gerson. Juan Carlos. Present. Karen Yesenia. Present. Karina. Present. Linda. Present. Uh, María. Julia. Present. Marley. Present. Nancy. Nancy. Norma. Uh, present, teacher. Rafael. Present teacher. Sulaim. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Teacher, no me mencionó. Raquel. Sí. Ay, se Raquel. Yes, okay. You are there. I'm sorry. Ok, antes de que nos vayamos, felicitarles a todos los que participaron. Invitarles a los que no lo hicieron que lo hagan en la próxima. Recuerden que el aprendizaje de un nuevo idioma es precisamente así. El poder hacer todos los ejercicios. Eh, acordémonos que necesitamos desarrollar eh, las cuatro macro habilidades. Entonces... Una de las maneras para ir mejorando en la parte de speaking es precisamente esa, en la parte de reading, de writing. As you can see, como pueden ver, hemos ido eh, tocando o haciendo actividades para ir desarrollando todas esas habilidades. Ustedes escriben, ustedes leen, cuando están leyendo están produciendo sonidos. Entonces, de esa forma vamos eh, todos avanzando, pero es importante que participemos. Así es que tranquilos, no se preocupen por los errores que puedan haber, que de ellos debemos de ir aprendiendo. Todos estamos en un proceso y lo que debemos de hacer es ir aprendiendo incluso de los compañeros. Eso es muy importante. Cuando alguien está leyendo, está hablando, hay alguna palabra que tengo duda y la oí como la dijo mi compañero y después la oí con otro, entonces quiere decir de que por ahí va el sonido. Entonces es importante eh, la participación de todos. Y como dije, y esto por eso lo digo en español, no me voy a cansar de pedirles que participen, que participen, porque estoy convencido de que ese es el proceso. En el momento que nosotros comenzamos a hablar, a quitarnos el miedo de qué es lo que van a decir, eh, de esa forma vamos superando barreras. De eso se trata. Así es que adelante, ustedes pueden hacerlo. Eh, de repente pueden sentirse que no están comprendiendo, pero eso es normal en un proceso. Lo que hay que hacer es buscar un diccionario y ir aumentando el vocabulario. And that way you are going to be able to understand exactly every word that I, that I said. But don't worry about it. 
And I hope to see you tomorrow. Remember, after tomorrow, we have only just one week to finish this module. And then I, I guess that you are going to, to have a, a vacation for the next module. Maybe it's going to be in the next year. I'm not, I'm not pretty sure about that, but maybe it's going to be in that way because you are going to be with your family, celebrating and doing a lot of scenes, dancing, eating, and so on. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what I would like to tell you is that in this time that you are going to have vacation, try to practice, try to read, try to listen, music, watch movies in English and so on. Okay. I hope to see you tomorrow. And I'm going to stay here, person that is going to have 10 minutes, ask question about it. Good night, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Hello, sir. <laughs> Don't worry about the words, sir, okay? I already claim you. <laughs> okay, I, I would like to know if you have any questions about any topic that we already have studied. Or everything is clear. Your microphone, I can hear you. You want it? Your microphone, I can hear you. I can hear you. Listen? No. Speak, speak. Uh, listen? Yeah, yes, now. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, I don't have a question, teacher. Okay. Uh, but practice. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, uh, well, what about the last topic? Uh, it is easy for you to understand the structure, how to create sentences using the agent in progressive? Yes, teacher. Uh, give me some example about it. Example. Yes, give me some examples. Uh, we, we, we are speaking English. Speak English. We are speaking in English, okay. Speaking English. Yes, uh, I am, I am, I am eating pizza. Okay, you are eating pizza. Uh, you, you are drinking beer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jesus. <laughs> Yes, uh, ANG uh, is uh, easy, but but difficult is is speak and, and listen, but go but understand. Uh, is easier for you to understand yes. when you listen? Uh, uh, usually. Okay. Usually, but uh, one word uh, I don't understand, uh, I lost. <laughs> ah, I got it, I got it. Okay, yes. okay. Uh, there, there are some, some advices about that. Imagine suddenly uh, somebody start telling you or explain you something. Uh, you, don't, you don't need to be translating because that is the problem yes uh, in that is the me, main problem and i me, know the process uh, i know me, the process yes uh, in, in my case is do you speak english uh, spanish if was english <laughs> okay uh, 
eh, me cuesta un poquito entenderlo en el inglés, sino que me ah. toca como que traducirlo para después hablarlo. Yes. Ok, le explico. Ese es un proceso psicológico que todos los que hemos aprendido un idioma hemos pasado. Pero llega un momento que el mismo cerebro se programa y eh, ya no necesitamos estar haciendo la traducción de cada una de las palabras, sino que por eso, si, si usted se ha fijado, desde el inicio de los módulos que hemos visto, yo siempre les he dicho que tratemos de hacerlo de forma natural. ¿Sí? Claro, es un proceso, ¿no? Es un proceso, pero llegará un momento que su cerebro ya no necesitará, necesitará traducir, sino que de una solo se va a ir acordando de las estructuras y usted va a comenzar. Y usted va a decir, wow, I made it. I made it. Yeah, I, I made it. Sí, lo hice. I made it. Yeah, I made it. But, but what you need is just practice. Lo que necesita es práctica. No. And time. And, and second, <laughs> what you need to do is to increase your vocabulary. Necesita aumentar su vocabulario porque cuando ya usted tiene un cúmulo considerable de palabras, ya con esas usted puede entablar una conversación. ¿Sí? Yes, yes, yes. Generalmente, uh, una vez alguien me pregunta y me dice, ¿con cuántas palabras yo puedo? Eh, algunos eh, pedagogos o personas especialistas dicen de que ya con un cúmulo de, de más de mil palabras, uno puede defenderse un poco, ¿sí? Pero cuando ya usted tiene, digamos, unas que cuatro o cinco mil palabras en la mente, uh, ya tiene suficiente para poder establecer eh, conversaciones de todo tipo, ¿no? Pero es un proceso, es un proceso. Sí. Y usted debe de buscar la forma de cómo hacer para ir aprendiendo palabras nuevas. Por eso, si se ha fijado, eh, yo he iniciado preguntándoles en algunas sesiones qué palabras recuerdan de la clase anterior. Pero me he dado cuenta, y usted también es testigo, de que solo dos o tres mencionan una o dos palabras. Eso no, no quiere decir este, exactamente que todos estén aprendiendo solo una o dos. Pero eh, si alguien, por ejemplo, tiene cinco palabras, inmediatamente me va a decir, ok, I learned five words. Aprendí cinco palabras y estas son las siguientes. Porque el primer paso es precisamente memorizarse eh, esas palabras. But the second one is to use it in, in a sentence, in a conversation. Y la segunda es ya usarla dentro de una conversación, de una oración. Y de esa forma usted va a ir aumentando su vocabulario. Ese es el, el propósito. I know that you are in a basic level, but in order that you get uh, confidence and familiar with the language, uh, I speak only in English and that way it's going to help you to understand the words. And suddenly when you listen to the radio or you are watching a, a movie, you are going to listen one of the words that I have used in your classes and you are going to say, I know what is the meaning. Y usted identifica inmediatamente eh, cuando está viendo la televisión o oyendo alguna canción y usted dice, ah, esa palabra ya la vi. Y eso le ayuda como a ir entendiendo, ¿no? Algo muy importante que quería decirle cuando me decía usted, valga la redundancia, de que con una palabra que ya no entienda se pierde. Eh, cuando está leyendo incluso pueden haber palabras que no sabes el significado, pero debes de sacar eh, como una idea general del contexto, de lo que entendió. Usted se formula un eh, concepto, una idea. Y entonces eso le va ayudando. No necesariamente debe saber todo el significado de todas las palabras. No, pero ya hay una idea principal ahí. Y ese sí. es el propósito. Sí. Así es que yo le invito a que siga adelante, que siga practicando, que siga leyendo. Cuando tenga tiempo, eh, 
si va a tener vacación, mire su película, póngala en inglés y sigamos adelante, que de eso se trata. And try to speak English. Don't worry about mistakes. Don't worry about it. And that way you are, you are going to get fluency. Cuando ya tiene fluidez de cualquier tema que le pregunten, you are going to be able to speak. Mistake. ¿Qué quiere yeah. decir? Errores. Mistakes. Uh, yeah. Don't worry about mistakes. Yes. Y aquí la tengo. <laughs> <laughs> mistakes. Sí, son mistakes. Yeah. Sí. Sí. Yo creo que hay muchas palabras que han oído ustedes y en algunas quizás no le prestan atención, pero algo otra, eh, por ejemplo, así, así, oyendo y, y usted pregunta, inmediatamente se le queda. Y a la próxima vez usted dice, ah, mi stage. Sí. Así de esa sí. forma. Sí. No, yo en un post y las anoto aquí en mi computadora, pero ya se me lleno. <risa> sí, es de ir haciendo un vocabulario eh, de todos yes. los días. Así es. Ok. What's a pleasure to be Thank here you. with you speaking and don't worry about it. Don't worry about mistake. Try to speak. Try to read. Try to write down everything. And that is going to help you. Suddenly you are going to stop uh, translating into Spanish and you are going to do it naturally like we do in Spanish. You are going to speak English. That is the main Thank purpose. You. And you can do it. You have the opportunity to do it. Thank okay. you, teacher, by advice. Okay, I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you very much to be here. Goodbye. And good night, bye-bye.